Hey guys, how you doing? My name is John. Welcome to my Nostalgiaholic show. This episode I'm going to be talking about and reminisce just a little bit about one or two places. That is Showbiz Pizza Place and Chuck E. Cheese's. And Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz were huge in the 80s. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese is actually still around today. They have over 500 and something locations uh, in about like seven different countries. Majority of those are in North America and in the, in the States here. And I'm a huge fan of this growing up because it was a place where I could go, whether it was a you know family gathering, my birthday, a friend's birthday. We'd always have a good time. And what Showbiz and, and Chuck E. Cheese was, or it still is, is a place where you can have pizza, sub sandwiches, you can actually watch animatronic characters sing songs to you. And Chuck E. Cheese actually started in 1977 by a guy, if you're big into video games, you might recognize the name. His name is Nolan Bushnell. He's actually the founder of Atari. So what he, he was inspired by Disney. He wanted to come up with this place where he actually fit some of his arcades by Atari in there and showcase some of those, obviously, but a place where he could bring his, his daughter and her friends and his family into and hang out. So it started in San Jose, California in 1977, was the first Chuck E. Cheese pizza, and he became partners with a guy named Robert Brock. And Robert had a bunch of money because he had owned a whole bunch of hotels, and he was like a multimillionaire. And, and Robert was the very first franchisee of Showbiz, and he bought 16 states licenses to open up Chuck E. Cheese. And Robert met this guy named... Aaron Fetcher and Aaron was the owner of Creative Engineering and Aaron what he did was he created these animatronic characters that were superior to what Chuck E. Cheese was coming out at the time and so what Robert Brock decided to do was decide to spear off and break away from Chuck E. Cheese and create Showbiz Pizza and the first Showbiz Pizza opened up in 1980 in Kansas City. Now there were lawsuits that went back and forth. Uh, Nolan Bushnell sued Robert Brock uh, based on a breach of contract for a franchise agreement. There was a counter lawsuit. Eventually they settled out of court and for the next decade Showbiz Pizza would actually owe money royalties to Chuck E. Cheese Pizza. So both did really well in the 80s and unfortunately the video game crash hit in 1983 and everything kind of went downhill from there. They, they were losing money. They, they expanded way too fast. They opened too many locations. That's true with both Showbiz Pizza and Chuck E. Cheese. So what ended up happening was kind of ironically uh, Showbiz Pizza ended up purchasing and buying Chuck E. Cheese Pizza. At that point, Nolan Bushnell kind of pulled out. He filed bankruptcy, bankruptcy through Chuck E. Cheese. He pulled out, took what he could, and pulled out. So he kind of left the business. And for a while, this was back. This is this happened in 1984, where the merger happened. So they kept the brands kind of separate for a while until about 1992, where uh, Chuck E. Cheese decided to kind of rebrand everything under the. Chuck E. Cheese name, so Showbiz would no longer be around. So from 1980 to 1992 was the life of Showbiz Pizza. And even though Showbiz was kind of the owner of the company, so to speak, they switched everything to Chuck E. Cheese. They got rid of the, their different animatronics and they turned everything to a Chuck E. Cheese theme. So that was kind of uh, unfortunate in my personal opinion because I actually preferred Showbiz Pizza. I thought the animatronics were a lot better. I thought just it was uh, the characters a lot better as well. But Chuck E. Cheese was still fine nevertheless, and Chuck E. Cheese is still operating today. It is publicly traded. Uh, I think it's under CEC. Uh, is their, their trade, what they trade under on the stock market. But without any further ado, let me show you some of the, the toys and, and figures I got from Chuck E. Cheese. Now, I had a lot more memorabilia growing up, but this is kind of what I could find for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's take a closer look. Okay, guys, let me know if you remember any of these. These are some classic... Chuck E. Cheese figurines. I got these with uh, the they have a counter at Chuck E. Cheese where you re return in some of these tickets that you get from the redemption machines or the games. And these are some of the items that I, you win. And some of these came out in the early 80s. I believe the first two here might be like Series 1. They came out in 83. The next three figures, I, I believe, are part of the sports series. And this came out in 1986. So I'm not really sure how long these figures ran for, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure how many of these they came out. But if you guys remember these, let me know. I'm curious. Also, if you guys uh, have any of these yourselves, uh, here's Chuck E. Cheese. He's the main main character of Chuck E. Cheese's. And on the bottom here, you can see copyright. If you look very closely, it says uh, 80, 83, Main Hong Kong. And it says Pizza Time Theater. That's where it changed names during time. At this time, it was Pizza Time Theater. Uh, eventually, they dropped that, and now it's just Chuck E. Cheese's. And then this is Mr. Munch. He's also one of the characters of the band. Uh, there's three, three other ones. Pasquale, he's like the Italian guy. And then you have uh, Helen Hen Henny, and she's more of a bird. She sings. And then there's also a Jasper T. Jowls, and he's he's like a dog or a hound, and he's in the band as well. So uh, I believe Mr. Munch, I'm not sure. I think he played, um, I'm pretty sure he played the drums, but I might be mistaken there. I, my memory isn't serving me very well, but I'm pretty sure he was on drums. 
Uh, but he was same same year, 1983. These don't bend or anything like that. Uh, they look like they could be erasers, but they're not. So they just kind of stand there. I'm not really sure what you'd necessarily do with these. They're more for display. And here's here's Chuck E. Cheese, part of the sports series. Here's him playing uh, some basketball. These came out all of 1986. And now Showbiz. You can see how, if you look carefully, it says Showbiz. So at this point, this is post-84. Showbiz has owned the rights at this point. It's no longer Pizza Time Theater. Here's him playing football. Here's him playing baseball. I'm not, again, I'm not sure how many of these uh, were released, but I thought they were pretty cool. And I remember they had glasses. They had a whole bunch of cool memorabilia. And the tokens were really neat from their 80s as well. But a lot of good fond memories of, of Chuck E. Cheese. I'm curious if you guys remember Chuck E. Cheese growing up as well. And I'm curious what your guys' memory of, of attending either Chuck E. Cheese or Showbiz. Uh, Showbiz is no longer around, unfortunately. There's a few. Uh, that are in like Middle East, like Kuwait and stuff that are independently owned, that they have uh, they have a band as well. Now this is the, the Chuck E. Cheese band, but Showbiz is a Rocker Fire Station. And there's a good documentary I would highly recommend you guys check out called Rocker Fire Station. Uh, I believe you can watch it on Netflix or just Google it. You can uh, just type in, uh, you pretty much search Rocker Fire Station and you'll find it, no problem. Highly recommend it, really fascinating story. It goes about the whole backstory of creative engineering, uh, showbiz pizza, and kind of the rise and fall. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you soon. Take care.